Looking at the current induced in a rectangular loop of wire, we have a U-shaped loop of wire which is connected by a conducting path on rails which moves upward at a constant 3 meters per second. So this piece is moving up at 3 meters per second. If the wire is situated perpendicular to a uniform half tesla magnetic field, find the current flowing through the resistor. In which direction will the current flow? Well, first off, let's figure out that the induced EMF, E average, is going to be equal to BLV. Or that's going to be 0.5 tesla times our length here, that's going to be 0.5 meters times our velocity, 3 meters per second, so half times half times 3 is going to be 0.75 volts. Now, if that's situated here, we're trying to find the current flowing, this must have some resistance in that loop R. Well, I is going to be V over R, where our induced voltage is just going to be this 0.75 volts over whatever R happens to be for that circuit. And in which direction will the current flow? Well, to do that, we're going to do Lenz's law again. As V is moving up this way, we're getting more flux down through that area. It's getting bigger. We're getting a bigger flux. If we want to oppose that, in that case, then that means that our induced current is going to want to create a flux coming back out to oppose that. And by the right hand rule, if I point the thumb of my right hand in that direction of the flux from the induced current, I find that that must be going counterclockwise. So the direction of the induced current would be in that direction. All right, hopefully that gets you a good start on electromagnetic induction, Lenz's law, and how we put all of this together. Thanks so much for your time, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Make it a great day, everyone.